Beethoven. According to the Indian tradition, the indisputable purpose of music is union with God. Gita Ben David. It's common knowledge that Beethoven became increasingly deaf over his lifetime. What level of sound he may or mayn't have heard is sometimes discussed, but what seems to be undisputed is that he had a serious compromise of his hearing by the time he finished his Ninth Symphony in 1824. How did he do this? Some say he heard the vibrations through his feet from the ground. Undoubtedly, as Mozart once said, Beethoven perhaps also heard the music in his head without needing to hear the notes in actuality. So tuned was his mind and heart to the beautiful, passionate music he created. The current growing awareness of the sound world and its potential for healing, amongst other things, is burgeoning 200 years after his death. But Beethoven shows we're so much more than simple anatomy. When our intention is seated in love and passion, we can defy the laws as we have created them and step beyond the realm of man's limits to attain a union with something that's governed by laws still unknown to us. Some may call this imagination or fantasy, but the more the scientists discover, the larger the limits of man's understanding, and imagination grows. What wondrous joy might it be to imagine we've only touched a small amount of our infinite hearts and minds? What could we yet heal in our failing world if we began to understand our full potential? But with the intellect held safely in the arms of our compassionate hearts, our earth and its infinite variety of life might learn to trust us again. Hope is arriving along with despair. We're making leaps in the field of sound healing and energy healing. No longer the domain of the fringes of society, their potential is being brought into the light. It seems we're only just beginning to discover the scope of this universe in which we're so gently held. Beethoven found his own inner source of power to continue his passion, his life, his music. As we begin to understand the possibilities of all we are and the responsibilities of all we share, may we all learn to hold the earth in which we live and its wildlife with equal gentleness whilst we grow up.